Hello there everyone, my name is Nathan Birch and today I am going to uh, show you guys briefly how to run a JavaScript program inside a Visual Studio Code. So I'm just going to open up here, I'm going to say VS Code, oh my start menu opened up on a different screen. That's okay. So I have VS Code right here. Uh, if I have not already, or if you have not already, I would say go ahead and create a folder called JavaScript 1. That'll have all your code for this class. So uh, I'll go ahead and say open folder. And then on my computer somewhere, wherever you want to do it, uh, go ahead and make a new folder uh, called JavaScript 1. And I'm going to hit select folder. And so now I just open this folder in my text editor. And so this over here on the right hand side will be like a little file explorer. So all of my files will show up right here, which will be really nice. Now to run this um, first, and, and I already made a video on this, but Basically, in the extensions, you have to make sure that you have Code Runner installed, and it's this first one that comes up. You'll just hit the blue Install button for Code Runner, and once that's installed, you'll go ahead and make a new file. And I'm just going to call this hello.js. Okay. Anytime we have a JavaScript file, it, it needs the .js uh, file name extension. Okay. Uh, but then in here, uh, I can do any type of JavaScript that I want to. So I could say var x equals five plus five. Okay, and you know, so I can do math, I can do loops, I can do pretty much, uh, pretty much anything, right? Uh, but we wanna say hello world, so I'm just gonna say console log. This will allow me to log something to the console and I'm just gonna say hello world. Add a semicolon at the end and hit save. Okay, well sweet, I have some good code written here. Uh, but for me to actually run this code, uh, I'll need to hit this button right here, okay? Um, you could also go to run and hit run without debugging. Um, might be able to right click. Nope, it doesn't look like you can. But you can hit this and it should pop up uh, this little output console down below and you can see it said hello world, okay? If we can test this again just to make sure that it's reading the right thing, I'll hit save. I hit control S to save it. Go ahead and run it again and you can see now we have a really, really awesome hello world here. Okay, and that is all it takes to run something in the browser. Uh, and here's my file, um, and I have this open here. And so for, for the rest of this class, I wouldn't really have to change uh, how VS Code is set up because I can just add files and folders here for everything that we're gonna do in the course. Um, and anytime we wanna run just JavaScript without HTML in the browser, you can just um, have a JavaScript file and, and run it in here. So I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.